News 4 continues our team coverage tonight with crews monitoring a firefighter's condition after he was hit by a driver on Interstate 55. We also have a crew talking with drivers who are stranded all over the St. Louis area. But we'll start first tonight with forewarned Chief Meteorologist Steve Templeton tracking this winter weather advisory. Yeah, it does continue tonight because of the lingering impacts from that ice. Our KMOV people came out here. So really there's so much emotion with, from, from everyone here that we're, we're just proud to be here. So because of that, on behalf of everyone I've talked about, I think I got something I'd like to give to you. And it's keys to your new home. Thank For Anisha, you. congratulations. Thank you. Our very first KMOV Surprise Squad. I'm Claire Kellett with KMOV Surprise Squad. We're at the Schnooks in South City to surprise people and pay for their groceries. And we're hoping to really meet people who could use our help. Come on, let's go. We would love to pay for your groceries. Really? Whoa, thank you. We want to buy your groceries. Whoa! Praise the Lord. More than 30 other states had already passed legislation requiring screening at birth, but Missouri lagged behind until now. The test, now mandatory under the law, will cost the state a mere $7 per baby. Parents like Michelle Dethridge, who testified in favor of the law, say it will save babies' lives. Speaking out, the last thing she says she could do for her son. Riley's going to save lives. He may have lost his, but he's going to save lives. Lauren Traeger, News 4. We've got to talk about what happened in Farmington, Missouri last What happened? Year. Our first ever storm mode tour stop. Is that why I'm so tired? That is part of why you're so oh, tired. And it, was, it was a success. It. We, I mean, I almost got emotional last night. Now, you night. think it it's hype. I know you're up. thinking, oh, this is hype. This we place were, was packed. We were blown away by the crowd. There were she easily. Was, oh, yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> there were easily. Over 600 Here's the people thing. there. The place holds, a lady wrote me this morning, she said the place holds over 550 people. Yep. There were at least, if you look at the chairs in the front there, Matt, there had to be a couple hundred people seated in there. Oh, yeah. So that puts that. you at 750 right there. Tonight, the St. Louis County Police Department headquarters is bathed in blue light in honor of Officer Blake Snyder, who was laid to rest today. It was an emotional day as his wife was joined by hundreds of others on hand to offer support to the family of Officer Snyder, killed in the line of duty one week ago. In the hours after he was shot last Thursday, a memorial was started outside his precinct in South St. Louis County, and the support has not stopped pouring in. Today, those who wanted to pay their respects to Blake gathered to mourn the loss.